Right, this is a 2015 Honda Fit. And I have about 20,000 miles, or just going on 20,000 miles. And uh, it's basically time to change the air filter. So I have an original Honda air filter here. And air filter is real easy to change. Uh, basically, you have these clips here, there's four of them. Four clips. And you should look at which which end of the clip is, is the top end uh, before you take it take it out. Because some people will you know, when they put it back they uh, they'll make a mistake and uh, put you know put it on the opposite end. They're like what the heck's going on and then they're forcing it and it breaks. So so be aware of, of uh, which end is in uh, which end it, it's you know supposed to go into it clips in. All right, so unclip the four. And basically, just kind of wiggle it, and it should kind of come loose. Um, and kind of wiggle it out a little bit. This little um, boot here, it's in, it has like a, an accordion shape to it. And your top of the airbox will uh, come off of that. So you look on the inside, it's spotless. Very clean. Um, there's actually, uh, if you look right here, that's actually your mass airflow sensor right there. So I'm not gonna touch that. You know, if this was like an older, older uh, vehicle, I might like spray some um, mass airflow sensor uh, cleaner in here. And I don't think you guys could see it from your from your angle. But anyways, if I look in from the from the inside, you can actually see uh, you know the wires that come out, and that's the mass airflow sensor wires. That's where the air flows through it, and, and it tells you. Uh, you know, you know it, that's how it reads it. Um, well, actually, that's how how it reads it is that those wires will actually heat up as the air goes through. Um, it cools down a certain amount, um, so that's how it works. So here's my here's the clean side of the air filter. I lift this up. So this is the clean side. Let's look at it. Pretty dirty, huh? See that? Pretty dirty. This is with 20,000 miles. Um, I think Honda doesn't say to change this until their 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 uh, reminder on the on the dash in on the dashboard uh, tells you to. But uh, but uh, this is a very small air filter, you know, small engine. Um, so so, anyways, I'm I'm changing it. 20,000 miles is good. You probably go as long as maybe even thirty thousand miles, but that's that's kind of pushing, I think. I just like to, I just like to keep my temperatures uh, a little bit a little bit on the cleaner side, uh, just because. Um, we're also less less clogged up temperature, I should say, as well. So I'm looking into the the dirty side of the airbox, and it actually looks really clean as well. So I'm not even gonna touch touch anything. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Um, she this accordion side, so she's like, yeah, I made it more dirty with my my hands than it and it and it is clean. But I see a little bit of <laughs> specks of dust just from pulling the accordion boot out. Anyway, those little specks, it's not gonna do much harm. It's just a little bit. So taking the filter out there was actually this little tab here on this side over on this corner right here or the side of here uh, basically oriented back the same way with that little tab right there and you see how the, there's a seal up on top the seal it basically is it's uh, up All right so you do this be mindful of not you know hitting anything dirty or whatever getting dirt on onto this clean side um, Bring this back in. Here, slide the slide into the boot, the accordion boot. Okay, it's the other way in. This uh, I just need to pop it down and wiggle around, move around. It's actually this, you know, this grooves and such that it should go in and should seat in there, nice and uh, nice and firm. So right now it feels really firm. It feels like it feels like the clips are almost on. Even I, I can't really wiggle it around much. I can lift it up, but not not but not sideways or anything like that. So it's good. I'm good there. Now basically, just put my clips back on.
You gotta remember which side the clip orients, so that way you don't put it in the wrong wrong end in first and then and break your clip. Now, this clip doesn't look like much, but if it breaks, you know, it's probably like 15 to 20 bucks or something like that. I'm I'm guessing at least 20 bucks, <laughs> maybe even more. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you uh, replace the uh, air filter on the Honda Fit, uh, third generation Honda Fit. Thanks for watching.